welcome everyone to a brand new redstone tutorial after four months of not doing redstone i'm finally kind of sort of getting back into the redstone things again and i'm actually glad that i'm getting back into it so in today's tutorial we're going to build this little contraption which doesn't really serve a purpose in survival worlds but I, but I still think that it's a nice, neat little contraption. Now, before you get scared of the redstone, do not worry, it's not complicated. I know everyone says this, but it really isn't. I'm gonna try my best to explain uh, pretty much everything of like what is going to do this circuit, what will do like this circuit at the bottom, and that's pretty much it. This is what it looks like. So we have a button here. And as you can see, uh, the bridge gets pushed down to this Y level. And you can just walk on it if you want to. And you can press the button here. And just like this, it gets retracted back into the sea line. Which, to be honest, I really think that this is a cool idea. But, um, as per usual, this wasn't originally my idea. I was actually inspired by Mumbo Jumbo himself. Yes, the man himself, the Redstone God, Mumbo Jumbo, has made a hipster bridge. I think it was like in, in like 2013 or something. So, yeah, I got inspired by him, but I saw that his Redstone was quite messy in there. So, I was like, I'm gonna try my best to compact it. And, um, even with observers, I don't think I did a good job. Let's just get started, I guess. So, to start this off, um, we will pretty much just have to make a triple pulse piston extender. So, make sure to place your three pistons like this. And, the ceiling is going to be like here. Let's just say like here the next thing we will want to place a sticky piston this way let me just get rid of this crap for now and make sure that here where this observer is make sure that this is slabs we do not want this to be normal to be normal blocks because this will power these this block if it would be normal and that would pretty much basically break the whole thing which that isn't good okay that's that's not good whatsoever so you all you're going to want to place for Peter do not put any more things on it just leave it at one thing which is this one yes pog next you will want to place observer facing this direction on Pretty much on top of this one and the next observer is going to be facing downwards and it's going to be in this direction just you know yeah it's it's, a, it's gonna be facing downwards yeah this you can see that i haven't done redstone tutorials in a long time so <laughs> excuse me if i'm like rambling or that type of crap right okay Make sure to replace this block that was here to be a half slip as well. Next, you'll just want to place a seamless block here, which can be slabs, glowstone, sea lanterns, I think. So make sure to place a seamless block here, redstone dust on top of it. Then put a redstone dust on this block. And the next thing would be put a block here. Repeater on top of it. And the next thing, of course, we need to we need to power this observer here, which is pretty much just going to extend. It's going to be like this piston. We'll send this piston down here. Then we need to power this thing so that this piston will get sent back to here. And then we will have to retract this piston again and send the signal to here this is going to move the observer here which is going to power this piston because you know quasi connectivity that's a thing in java so and it will basically just push the block 
to here, then it will retract it. So that's pretty much what we're trying to do. We're just trying to extend the pistons and retract the pistons. So, if we want to power this thing, we'll need to place a non-sticky piston here, or just a regular, regular piston, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. So, we'll want to place four blocks like this, so one, two, three, four. No, no, no. It's not just like this. I don't want to place horses there. But Peter, we are going to make a monostable circuit. If you don't know what a monostable circuit is, it's just... It's going to send a one tick pulse, basically. Now, make sure to place this here, and this thing here. Blocks like this, I feel like. And then let me just quickly switch up this wool. So we will want to stick piston like this and observe facing this direction. Another observe facing this way. Then yeah, that's pretty much this is pretty much complete, I guess. We'll want to go under here, place a target block, and a redstone torch on top of it. Now we can just, you know, fill this in. Back to this section, we will want to place two blocks like this and redstone dust on top of them. Now, here is going to be where your signal is going to be sent and which is going to just activate the whole thing. So, just for now, place a button there. So let's see how this works. It's not going to work right now, but you can see, we are getting there, we are getting there. We are all already like a third in the way in, so I guess. It's <laughs> cool. We can actually extend this already, so let me just do this, like so. And of course, because I'm stupid, I this. Wrong way, okay, that's better. Right, so... Just extend this all the way. Actually, I'm going to extend it in the last minutes. Just so that we can focus on this one thing here. Because, I mean, it's pretty much just the same thing all over again, if you just extend it. So yeah. So here, you will want to place another seamless block. Redstone does like this, and I think we have to go one block further, so just like this. This should be four ticks, hopefully. It's a repeater here, and I think this has to be blocked off. Redstone dust on here. Make sure to place a stick piston here, so another monostable circuit. But this one has a little bit of timing to it, and that's actually intentional. Because we do not want this to get stuck in midair, I guess. Uh, we want this to actually retract, so yeah, this is pretty much the best way to do it that, that I can think of, so. Next thing, place a temporary block this way observe facing this way. Another temporary block like this, stick piston facing downwards, and you can just remove this. Or a seamless block here. More blocks to this way. And I think we just have to this repeater this way. This has to be one tick, four ticks. And yeah just do this. Right, next thing, just place rest and dust on here. Make sure to block this off. And then just do this. This will make sure that this piston is going to get extended. It will power this observer, which will then power this piston at the top. Which makes it for a perfect retraction, I guess. Okay, so this thing right here. 
I've actually messed up a tiny bit. So this apparently has to be moved all the way to here. So sorry for that. So again, vortex, and just like this. From here we're gonna go seven blocks, like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Make sure to put all of these repeaters on vortex, and then this should be pretty simple. Let's put a stick, stick a piston facing downwards and observe facing downwards. You can extend this again. These repeaters set on four takes right here. It looks like this. And just place repeaters here for now and redstone dust. And the next thing, another monostable circuit. Actually, you know, you know what, let's do this part first. So put it on two takes and then put a repeater here. Extend this part. Again, put redstone dust on it. And this part is pretty much finished, so we can move on to this part. So I'll just place repeater here on vortex. And right here, I think it has to be like this. If I'm correct. So block. One, two, three. And this thing has to be extended to here. Next thing I want to do is... I think it has to be like this, that you place observer facing downwards. Peterson Vortex. Make sure to replace this. We can extend this up to 15, but we need to make sure that this is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we can go only 8 blocks more, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then just place redstone dust again, and it's pretty much the same thing all over again, so we'll just put, again, normal pistons here, sticky pistons facing this direction, observers facing downwards, not here, more observers facing this direction, um, more repeaters going this way. Then we want to just place stick pistons facing downwards once again. This is a lot of stick pistons and a lot of a lot of observers. I wanted to say. And I guess we could just extend this over here. I mean, we could actually we could just place the redstone on this, we could theoretically do that, that would make it that, you know, make it just like this, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, this is only 13, but because this one is already at 15, the bridge is going to be a little short, but I still think that it's great. I'd say. Again, seamless blocks this way. Redstone dust on top of it. Make sure to place observers facing downwards once again. So, like so. On top of them, more repeaters. More blocks like this. Again, just you can already just place the half slabs like this. We can extend the ceiling to all the way to here. Okay, just like this. And we can just move on to another row of repeaters. Another row of redstone dust. So, did I accidentally know either? I thought that I accidentally clicked on some of the repeaters, I want to say. And redstone dust, just like this. Right, so 
hopefully this all works and I guess there's only one way to test it out and that's actually pressing the button god this is scary please work fingers crossed does it work okay so that means that this circuit should work pretty much by itself already yes right that's that's about it so you can see it's pretty simple it's not complicated whatsoever but what if let me actually just press this one more time to build a platform here so let's just make a platform right here okay the platforms are now finished the only way that you can extend this would be that you would have platform here and another bridge here and you can i think that you can actually connect this up to another machine like this that would extend another bridge to the bottom so i mean you can experiment with that i'm not going to do it just simply because i'm lazy but hey so what if you want to actually like have the button let's just say we just extend this tiny bit more okay let's just say you want to have the button here so that's pretty simple just make a redstone torch tower if you will and just simple redstone wiring just like this it doesn't work <laughs> and you know why because i'm a moron and i placed it on the incorrect direction right there it goes there was some sort of lag spike going on there like tps lag maybe but oh well And there it goes. It's now extended. So yeah. And then again, if you want to do it... If you want to close the bridge or just, you know, whatever. Then you're gonna have to again ex extend the platform a tiny bit. Just like this. And let's just say button is going to be here so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 so make sure it's not 16 but 15 and I guess we can always just move it to the top like this and just like this we have another button connected There we go. That's that's all. I told you it's simple. I hope that you thought it's simple. Because it really is. At least in my opinion. <laughs> so yeah, um if you enjoyed this wrestling tutorial in four months that it took me to record this one. Well not to record it but to actually make it, then make sure to leave a like and also subscribe um if you're new here. And if you enjoy redstone tutorials, let's play, or 2 be t content, yes, 2 be t content and anarchy content, then I guess you can subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, but you can subscribe if you want to. But yeah, so again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. So for now, guys, see ya.